How's it going, guys? We are back with a video here. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. But uh, we have the Nations of Hockey, week number two MSPs, and they're not the ones that are leaked, which is good. So hope you guys do enjoy. Uh, I apologize if I'm not really maybe as uh, high energy right now. I actually have COVID, unfortunately. So trying to rest up from that, but still trying to post content for you guys regardless. All right, so let's get into it now. All right, so uh, starting off with the MSPs for this week. There they are. So, uh, Jacob Verana, we have the Philip For sorry, not Philip, Peter Forsberg, Simon Nemitz, uh, Natalie Spooner, and all of them are actually pretty good cards, really, they are. So, uh, to me, this could be, th these honestly all could be usable, really, I'd say. Uh, is there a must from these? Probably not, but they're still good cards. So, uh, I'll show their stats and all that good stuff in a moment as well, don't worry. But, uh, then we also have some event cards. Uh, we got Matthews, 90 overall, 89 Barkov, 87 Lundquist, 87 Yager, which Yager actually looks pretty good. Drysdale, 85. We got to give Drysdale some upgrades because he's out for the year. Uh, Philly, 85. Siegenthaler, 84. 83. Uh, Shigga, I want to say. I'm not sure exactly how to say your name, but Paderka and Rasmus Anderson. All right, so there you go. For the Nations of Hockey cards, all right, so there you go. Uh, and then we also have some other cards. Nothing to do with the event, but we also have some fast forward cards. You have the uh, P.O. Joseph Kovacevic, I think you want to say his name is. Uh, Fabian Zetterland, McCollum, Leno, Maggio, Thorpe, and P Petri. I don't, I'm really not sure. Uh, then some primetime cards. Chris Letang, Cole Caulfield, and Jimmy VZ. All right, so there you go. That is some of the content that came out today. Uh, no new objective or anything like that. Uh, we have some new challenges, though, that have come out for this event. Uh, we have the group two challenges here. And here they are. Uh, it's just coins, coins, a random 82 overall Nations of Hockey player. That's not bad. Uh, an event collectible pack. And then also another random 82 overall Nations of Hockey player and event collectible. I think they're doing that because you need to play so many games to, to get the collectibles for the objective. So probably that's the reason they're doing it. That's just my guess though. But yeah, that, that would definitely make a lot of sense. All right. So those are the challenges. All right. For week number two of this event. Uh, and then we also have uh, some other things here. All right. We have some other uh, challenges, actually, I should say. I should mention this, the daily, actually. It's nothing to do with the event, but the daily is actually quite good. Uh, this time, it's it's going to be a random current team of the week player. Untradeable, but uh, still, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a W. I think that's good. Why not? I think they should do this more often. I mean, it really is good. So uh, I don't see why it should be an issue at all. So... I think you should keep on doing that. Random prime time, team of the week, anything like that. I think it makes it a lot better uh, for the game, really. And, and how many team weeks are, like, good, though? I mean, there's there's a few, right? I mean, you have, uh, let's see. You have Kaprizov, Marner, Malkin, Arona, Kadrow, Theodore. Those are all pretty, even even Kuznetsov's not bad. So, pretty good. All right, and then the store here. The store's looking like this. All right, we got, we got Nations of Hockey pack still out. All right, premium event booster pack. Pretty much the same as last week. Nations of Hockey MSP Week 2 pack. Same as last week, just a Week 2 players, though. So, that's really the only difference when it comes to the packs, really. Nations of Hockey Starter Pack, Week 2. Same thing as Week 1, literally. Just a Week 2 edition. Uh, then we also have the Tournament Players Pack, which, same thing as last week. Uh, then we also have the Hockey Nation Pack. So, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much it, all right? So, and then we have Ultimate Packs out. So, that's all the packs that are out right now uh, for this, all right, for this Week 2. Uh, we also have the sets here. I believe the sets uh, are the same as previous weeks, I do believe. Uh, yes, Prime Packs, Players Pack, uh, Jacob Verana. I don't know why his uh, picture is not there. It's pretty weird. Uh, I think someone also mentioned that. It's kind of weird. But uh, Nemitz, Forsberg, they're all three collectibles, just like every other MSP from this event. All right, so pretty easy to remember. All right, and there it is. All right, and then the collectible sets are the same as well. That did not change. That won't change until another event. All right. Now, let's look at the actual cards here, the actual MSP. I'm not going to really do too much of a deep dive on them, but I'll just kind of show you the synergies and the stats really on them, okay? So, here we go. The Nations of Hockey MSP Week 2, all right? So, here they go. And the Peter Forsberg, which is always a great card. 6-1, 2-0-5, left-handed shot, even buzzing, uh, and Thief. And then the Gladiator and Distributor, Silver Elite Edges, Silver Close Quarters, Silver All Alone, and then Gold Unsolvable Forest. His face-offs are pretty nice as well. 89 face-offs, 91 if you have distributor active, uh, which is really nice. So, yeah, no, I'm a huge fan of this Forsberg card. I think he's awesome for sure. 
Uh, and then we have, next up, we have, I guess that Matthew you can kind of mention. He's not an MSP, but he's a good card. 6'3", 208 pounds. Face officer, 88. Silver, 1T on him. And then we also have this Simon Nemitz, which I might just make because I'm a Devils fan. I mean, I might just have to do it. 6'1", 190. Right-handed D-man shot. All right. Spark, distributor, magician, and buzzing. He's got silver shutdown, silver tape of tape, silver elite edges, and then gold seeing eye on him so that's pretty decent honestly that's pretty decent on him he's got good skating even his shot's not too shabby either so he's got 94 defensive awareness so uh, that's a really good card honestly I, I really enjoy him a lot just looking at his stats so yeah uh, and then we also have this natalie Spoon spooner which actually looks really good 510 181 right-handed shot she has workhorse or spark gets her excel up to 92 and her balance up to 90 wingman or fly zone gets her speed up to 92 so that's really good uh, then we also have Silver Unstoppable Force on her, Silver Snipe, Silver Born Leader, and then Gold Close Quarters. So, you know, if you have really good abilities on her as well, and also 88 face-offs for someone that's a winger, you'll take that for sure. You'll really take that. Then we have Jacob Verana, 90 overall, 6 foot, 196, lefty. Uh, he could definitely be one of the best cards from this week uh, and of the event so far. Well-rounded Gladiator, Protector, and Booming Shot is what he's got. Silver Snipe. Silver wheels, silver make it snappy, and then gold elite edges. His Excel is 92, speed's 92. Good shot as well, 91, 91, 92, and 90. So, yeah, no, he's a good card, Verona. Especially if you're a Wings fan, you definitely want to make him. Uh, and if you're from Jack Republic as well, you'll definitely be making him. So, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it for this video. I mean, usually... Uh, the events where it's like week two and three or whatever. There's really only so much to show, right? So it's not going to be as long as the video is like the, you know, first day of a new event because, I mean, how much can you really show, right? It's kind of the same stuff aside just new cards, right? So hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique3Es. Enjoy Discord, talk to me, follow and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.